back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Episode five. We'll just keep it rolling. I'm gonna start off. I wanna start off talking about vision. Like everything, you feel me? Everything started from a vision. Everything started from somebody's vision. The chair you sit in, the computer you use, the mic we use, and everything came from somebody's vision. So it's very, very, very important, even for just survival of the human race, for us to have vision. Now, the thing with vision is that it's unique to each person. And I kind of had to learn, learn it, you know what I mean, through my journeys, how like my visions is so unique that as much as somebody may seem to understand or may seem to be like, yo, you got the best idea, I'm rocking with you. They still not really going to really see that vision until I make it physical. So I don't really like get too much in investing in people's thoughts and opinions about what I'm doing. Because I know that what I'm doing is, is like so far ahead and so just unique to me and my situation that they're not going to understand. So there's a lot of people that, you know, I've done work with, production with, you know, all type of stuff. I don't, I don't fault nobody for not really trusting my vision and believing. I don't, I don't you know, I don't feel no type of way about it. I'm not emotionally, emotionally charged like that. But um, just want to let y'all know, man. Just trust your vision, man. Create your world. Accept who you want in your world. Dismiss who you don't want in your world. And you really don't have to explain nothing to nobody, cause most likely they're not gonna understand anyway. So just, I mean, stick to your plan. If you look at your life and you see that every day you get up and you doing something you don't feel like doing, or, or you working for somebody, or you working for a company, even if you feel like moving up in that company and you got ideas and, and visions for your company, but nobody listening to you, create your own world, man. Of course, it's scary. It's scary to imagine something that's never been done before. It's scary, you feel me? But I'm a thrill seeker, you feel me? Like, when it's scary, when it's dark, when it's angry, man, that's when I'm at my best. That's when I'm at my sharpest, you feel me? I'm on point, I'm moving around, I'm using my mental, I'm using my physical, I'm using everything that, you know, that's God given to me to make my vision possible, you feel me? So just trust the vision, trust the process and ignore, ignore the, 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 the people that don't get it right now. And then your process might take 10 years. Your process might take five years. Your process might take two weeks, one day. You cannot... You cannot timeline your vision really by this man-made calendar, you feel me? Because once again, that was somebody's vision, you feel me? They just made us believe in their vision. So, for example, I started my production company in 2019. A lot of ups and downs, a lot of ins and outs. But... Yeah, I feel like I accomplished a lot, you know, in these three years. But my timeline, it might be a little bit more longer, you feel me? And I'm down for that, you know, I'm down for that. I done spent a lot of years bullshitting and investing in other people's shit, other people's vision. Years, decades, <laughs> you feel me? So why can't I put that same 
years or decades into myself. And that's what I do, you feel me? So if people don't get your vision, don't worry about it. I don't worry about it. Ain't nobody could say that, yo, Speedy be begging me to do this or begging me to do that. Like, uh, he be hassling me. Like, nah. You feel me? I ain't, I mean, you, you don't understand it. You don't see it. But once I create it and it's out there, for those who was, a, you know, close to it or a part of it, like, just hope that you still got a spot there, you feel me? Because I know what it is, you feel me? I mean, even though you didn't believe or you consumed in your own life, I mean, just, you no, know, it, it's nothing personal, you feel me? It's all business with me, you know I mean? So trust your vision, trust your process, you know I mean? And you're going to be good. So that was the motivational part <laughs> of this. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to get into, I wanted to kind of address the friend zone niggas. I wanted, to, I want to address you guys. Now, ain't nothing really wrong with being in the friend zone. You feel me? Like me, I got, I got female friends, but. But I'm not a friend zone nigga. You feel me? This is what a friend zone nigga is. A friend zone nigga <laughs> is a nigga who is a friend, right? But he really wants to be more than a friend. So he going to be doing all type of stuff for the female. He going to be trying to buy this, do that. She want to eat. She want to, I mean, he going to do all this friend zone stuff for her. Hoping, I mean, that one day you find me the, the the floodgates open. That's a friend zone, nigga. You feel me? Now I don't got nothing against the friend zone, niggas. You feel me? You take a lot off of niggas, like you know I me. Mean? I'll play. You feel me? We ain't got do. <laughs> Y'all take a lot off of you know real niggas' plates and shit. You feel me? <laughs> I'll just keep it real with y'all niggas, man. Women like masculinity, man. That's what women really like. You feel me? They like masculinity, man. So, sometimes I might get the, uh, the asshole charge or, you feel me? It's just that I'm so stuck to my, my principles and my vision. I'm so stuck to it that it's kind of hard for a female to kind of like break me out of that. And so it becomes a struggle between me and a female. And now she trying to break, break with my spirit that I got. You feel me? So I could be, you feel me? I could be what she wants me to be. You feel me? And sometimes, you know, a lot of people, you know what I mean? They might want something like this one day, then want something the next day. So I can't be sitting here trying to please and appease to everything a woman wants me to do. Like, I'd rather stick to my vision, make it real, and now I give that woman an opportunity. I give her family an opportunity to be bigger and do what you know whatever she want to do in, in life you feel I me mean? she she has a certain type of freedom around me like i'm not dating her and her boss you feel I me mean? when i'm with my chick or something like that like and i say babe let's i mean let's let's fly out let's fly out to miami or something. let's go chill let's go do something spend some time do something new and she hit me with the well i gotta go i gotta go to work today or uh, I, uh, my boss my boss need me like I'm in a I'm in a three way relationship, you feel me? Where where the uh, her boss is really the man of the relationship, because she not going to throw away her job for me. Now if I stick to my vision and prove to this girl that yeah, I could take care of you emotionally, physically and financially by offering you the opportunities that I set up through me being a boss. You feel me? Then she, she'll look at me different. You feel me? That wants, people just want to see stuff. You feel me? That's what pe people not really, 
I'm telling you, man, that time, that calendar, like, <laughs> people see that calendar flipping, they feel like, man, they wasting time. But really, man, life is a, it's a lifelong journey. You won't be learning till the day that you die. So it's like, you know, like, that's just the type of time I'm on. You feel me? I'm a man's man. And you feel me? I don't have no problem with the females. You feel me? Because the masculinity that I exude, you feel me? That's what they want. You friend zone niggas, if you want to be out of that friend zone, stop being a yes man. Start exuding masculinity. Start saying no. No, nah, I ain't doing that. No, that don't make sense. You feel me? I'm a businessman, so everything I, I do is, is, is doesn't make financial sense. Is it a good investment? Even with families, friends, relationships, is it a good investment? You feel me? Everything that I'm around and the, the, the country I'm in is nothing but business. So I must think business at all times. Or else I'm going to be forever stuck in poverty. You feel me? People be chasing relationships and don't even be having a life together. Don't have nothing to offer the relationship. So if you a friend zone nigga, man, step back, man. Get your sh together, man. Get your life together. You know, you start dictating things, and I guarantee you, what you want gonna come right to you, man. And you ain't gonna hear no type of back talk, no nothing, you feel me? And if you do, man, you a boss, man. You set the parameters, you know what I mean? You make it shape. <laughs> and that's, I mean, we just keeping it real to the friends of old niggas, you feel me? But shout out to y'all, you feel me? I'm gonna I'm I'm name this episode and, 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 and y'all honor friends of old niggas. You feel me? Uh, let's talk about one more thing before I wrap it up. Because I ain't even gonna, I ain't gonna cap for y'all. Like, I've been kind of under the weather. You feel me? So I've been kind of trying to try and get my energy together, get get back. You feel me? Get back in mold and all that. But, last thing I want to talk about is text back time. Now, text, the text back time, like, now, if I say, if I, if I mess, if I really mess with you, honey, you text me, I'm going to purposely, immediately text you back. Because I know you just text me, so most likely your phone is still in your hand. So, I'm going to immediately text you back just to see how quick you want to respond to me. Once again, I'm a businessman. My time, my energy is valuable. Me texting and all this is energy. You feel me? So, the text back time, <laughs> that window. Now, 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 now granted, it's sometimes I've been fried. Sometimes phone on silent. You see? Sometimes, you know, I, I do miss text so I don't get back fast enough. But there's some people that intentionally intentionally just take their time texting somebody back. I do it too. Sometimes I don't want to seem too pressed. I might take my time, text you back. But I'm talking about for like, this is for like, a, like people that's in regular con contact with me, text back time is, is, is very important to me. Like if we make a schedule to, to, to do a production, do some work or do something, you feel me? You say, and we set a day like, yeah, this day we're going to get together. We're going to link. So I set that day, that time, and then I don't hear no response. I don't hear nothing. You feel me? That's it with me. You feel me? Like, it might not be that important to other people, but my time is very valuable. I've done, I've done time. You feel me? I've done prison time and stuff. So I got a, I got a different respect for time. So just with people that know me and got my number, got my line, got my contact. Like, listen, man, if I hit you, man, respond. You feel me? ASAP. Because that time you try and book, I got 10, 15, 20 other people trying to book that time. Ladies or anybody, you feel me? If, my, if I got, if I, my shorty, you feel me? And she, and man, she got to, you got to be on point because 
I'm a businessman. So it's like, yeah, we got a relationship. We spend time with each other, but I still have to allot time to continually build my future. I can't be sitting around waiting and getting stood up like, nah, I ain't no lame. You feel me? And I, and I, and I refuse to be lamed. You feel me? So get y'all text back time together, man. And um, ladies, man, drop it down in the comment. Yeah, man, let me know, man. Do y'all do that intentionally? You feel me? Because I know, like I said, I do it sometimes. You feel me? But for the most part, I'm going to immediately text you back just to get the conversation over with. I got to do. <laughs> you feel me? So, yeah, man. Um, Let me see any updates. Any, any stuff coming up. Okay, so I'm trying to get my uh my guest list together because you know I definitely want to make it more inclusive. You feel me? So I'm trying to get that together now. Get my schedule in together. Yeah, man. And that's another thing. Like, if I ask you to do anything, you feel me? To be a part of any of my projects, and you drop the ball. Like, it's nothing personal. I'm not angry. I'm not upset. But my business, my business is looking at you like this person is slowing down my progress. This person doesn't value what I have to offer. So my business won't feel some type of way. Me personally, I don't care. <laughs> you feel me? I don't really care. Like I'm not emotionally invested in people like that to, to to you know to be depressed because you ain't answer me back or you ain't pop up or you ain't do that. I don't care. But my business, I will never let you uh, play with my business feelings and not my business heart. You feel me? Because my business gonna take me further than anybody, any friend or anybody gonna take me. You feel me? Now, if you like-minded like me, you business-minded like me, you grind like me, you hungry like me, let's put something together. Let's link. But it got to be consistent. I got to see that you hungry every day. I got to see you want to work every day. And then I'm going to let you a part of the business. But my, I mean, my business, I really care about how my business feels. You feel me? So I don't play around like that. But otherwise than that, man, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to get together, get back 100%, you feel me? We're going to turn up the podcast. We're going to close out like that, man. I'm about to go lay my ass down, man. Thank you. Oh, was so beautiful. It feels so good to be black. It feels so good to be proud. It feels so good to be all those things right now. Say, make some noise. If you black in here tonight, said I said, hey, go ahead and get yourself a treat, get yourself something to eat. I've got the thrifty things over there on this table. We feeling good this evening. We got the space for you to take pictures on. Artistic creativity. We got flowers. We got black folk. We got beauty. We got babies.